Hey, what's going on, guys? Darth back with another Queen's Blade Limit Break video. And this one is just kind of like a PSA, I guess, uh, a mini tip. We're going to be going over the uh, coin purchases. If you don't know what the coin purchases are, it's up here in the upper right-hand corner of your game interface. It is a place where you can go into and purchase varying amounts of gold. Now, gold is very important in this game. Maybe not necessarily to players like myself or you know veteran players because we we have quite a bit of gold and we've we've kept up on spending our gold throughout the game. But believe it or not, gold is very very necessary, uh, especially if you have twelve star warriors. It costs so much gold and XP uh, to upgrade that. Uh, Gold is really necessary. If I was to fuse a lot of this gear here, it costs a lot of gear, of uh, money. Uh, jewels splicing, uh, fusing, sorry, and runes fusing. Gold is just all around necessary. You absolutely need it. And you may find yourself short on it at, at times, as well as XP and other resources. Well, this is kind of one of those videos where I'm just trying to provide you with a few tips because I've also seen a bit of inf misinformation out there when it comes to buying uh, certain things as gold and XP particularly when it comes to the marketplace so we're gonna be touching on the gold coins the marketplace this first tab here we're gonna touch on your daily trials exploration and we're also gonna touch on expeditions so let's get into it <clears throat> The coin purchase is basically where you can come in and spend a relatively low amount of gems to purchase a high amount of gold. Now, my numbers are going to vary for, from what you are seeing here, so I just want to get this out of the way. Mine is higher because my adventurer level slash world level, and that's, uh, that's under adventurer level here, my world level is my game progress. It's directly tied to my adventurer level. So as this goes up, your coin purchases are also going to go up, meaning that this will get higher over time. Now, you can purchase three of the 20 gems and three of the 50 gems, and these are this is something you should be coming in every day and doing it. It resets three times a day, so the first thing you need to do is get used to the fact that it is Japanese time. Uh, midnight there, noon, and 5 p.m. So I've gotten mine down, and I get up early enough in the morning that I can hit one just before reset and then do it again after reset. All in all, if I bought this, this is about, let's see, 7.1 million gold several times a day. That's nothing to scoff at. I've been over a billion gold many times, but then I keep using it on leveling up my warrior. So <clears throat> that's how important it is. You should be buying all three of these. Okay. Now, the interesting thing to note about this is that you can actually get twice to three times as much gold. In the tooltip, it actually says that uh, players may get lots of extra coins when triggering big success. All that means is that when you buy this, generally, if you trigger a crit, it's going to give you double the amount of gold. Now, I don't have a recorded video of it, but I have been on, uh, I have personally seen that I've gotten three times the amount of gold twice. And I've been playing since April. So it's extremely rare. I call it the super crit. Let me know if you guys have actually experienced that super crit because I've, t I've said this to a lot of people and they're like, no, it doesn't. Nah, it does. And I'm going to get it on video one of these days. But when you buy these, you can cr chances are you're only going to double up on your gold. So let's yeah, there it is right there. I got 1.3 million instead of 652,000. That is the power of the coin purchases. All right. And we didn't get any more. So that's the coin purchases. So what are you going to do with your gold? What are you going to do with the gold is you're going to recycle it. And you're going to use the market and the ruins to do it. So let's cover the market first because this is where false information comes out. New players have often been told, and I've seen it, that they should come in here and buy all the XP available. That is incorrect. That is a mistake and it is an inefficient use of your gems. It's a loss. It's a net loss. The game does give you a lot of gems. I'm going to show you a, uh, a way to kind of recycle your gems here in a second, but look at my screen right now. You can spend 300 gems for 300k XP, or you can spend 1.5 million for 300k XP. You should always recycle your gold right here. You're going to have five refreshes 
I'm not going to say per day because each refresh charge actually recharges every two hours. So throughout the day, you need to come into your shop and you need to use your charges. One of the things you want to buy is the XP here. That's going to help you supercharge your XP. Never buy these 300s. The same goes for these shards, these warrior shards right here. See, we just got it. It's going to say 600 for 30 purple shards. Purple shard leads to fusion and fodder material. This is a mistake as well because what happens is it's going to offer you varying degrees of purple shards for 1.5 to 1.8 million gold. See if we can't see that. No, nope, we got another goal. No. So, avoid using gems to buy here because it's not a deal despite the fact that it says 50% off. We're going to take a look at, and that brings us to the next one. We're going to take another one. We're going to go directly to the quest tab and we're going to look at your daily trials. <clears throat> Remember, under the coin purchases, we spent 20 gems to get a lot of gold and 50 gems three times to get a lot of gold. Under your XP, under your trials, which you should be doing every day, at the lowest tier, these bottom two tiers they actually added a few weeks ago, I get a small increase because of my runes being enhanced. But generally this bottom one is 300k XP for 50 gems. You, you see what I'm saying? Under the marketplace, they want to charge you 300 gems for 300k. And people are telling new players to buy this stuff. Poor shit. Don't do it. You are better off taking those gems. I have an increase in my sweeps. Typically, you're going to see anywhere from four to six, I think it is. If you're VIP level eight, which is where you should, seven, I'm sorry, which is where you should be heading towards if you're spending your 99 cents a day and buying your artifact pass, 300 gems here is going to get you far more XP. You're better off burning your 300 gems right here doing your sweeps if you're trying to get to level 280 as fast as possible saving yourself a ton of gems. Same thing here. You can come in here and spend your get your gold. Do your sweeps, get your gold and recycle it in the marketplace right here. Getting warrior shards, challenge tickets and XP. Now, some the next question that some people are going to be saying is is well, what about gems? Aren't I going to run out of gems? The game throws a lot of gems at you, but I want to show you under the adventurer tab when you're doing your battle, like I got 139 gems just for doing my idle battle awards, but look at my expeditions. 60, 60, 60, 120, 120, 60. If you're not doing your expeditions, guys, you're not, you're missing out on a ton of gems and uh, other rewards that are going to be beneficial for you. So you're going to want to refresh your gems. Now one of the things you can do is come up here to this benefits tab here and for 980 gems, I, I think I already purchased it, it only costs 900 in gems. And basically it increases the rewards and reward frequency of higher level rewards that you get when you refresh. Now when I come here I tend to focus on shards if I was a new player. Shards and gems. I now tend to focus on gems and runestones when it refreshes. But it's basically feeding you free gems to go into your coin purchases that you're going to in turn go in here, use your refreshes to buy XP. You're going to buy shards. When, what I mean by shards is these three right here because these three will always be featured. They're going to help you fuse warriors as well as these other shards. Then you're going to go into your daily trials and you're going to get your XP and your gold. Rune stones is probably one of the most important things that you can get over the long term as well, but that depends on the type of gems. You gotta learn to pivot. I don't buy these warrior shards anymore because I just don't need them. Anyways guys, that's just a few tips on the coin purchases and how to recycle your gold and spend your gems efficiently when it comes to obtaining extra XP in the trials and marketplace. Let me know what you thought in the tip in the comment section. If you can, please take the time to subscribe as well. I'm trying to reach certain uh, milestones on followers. You don't have to turn on notifications, anything like that, but if you subscribe, it helps me out a lot. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks.